A new band of nomads has joined traditional gypsies on the road. They call themselves the New Age Travellers. Many have headed to the southwest looking for an alternative lifestyle. Instead, they found hostility and confrontation. They say they should be given sights, but so far councils have been reluctant to help. Western Approach looks at the problems they face in The Curse of the Traveller, tonight on BBC Two at 7.30. Thursday on One and Genesis, Don McLean and Zoe are top of the pops. Then at 7.30, advice for Clyde in EastEnders. Look, if you did do it, call it a day. Turn yourself in. Because I don't think you're going to sleep properly until you do. Hello, hello at 8 and an ice cream for the general. Make it the biggest one you have. <laughs> at 8.30, waiting for God. <laughs> a case for Smith and Jones at 9.30. There appears to be a false bottom in this case, sir. Perhaps you'd like to take it out. <laughs> at 10, more troubles for Ivan. While you're up here, can you give me the name and address of a good ear, nose and throat man in Belfast? Why? I didn't hear you knock. <laughs> and on Question Time from London, it's MPs John McGregor and Margaret Beckett, Lord Jenkins and the former Irish Prime Minister, Garrett Fitzgerald. Thursday on One. Number One. This week, Joe Newkid and Jason Priestley sign into the classic poster collection. And with Number One's weekly juice, a fruity little number, be there fast and first with the photos, the gossip, the truths and the rumours. Plus, it's the only place to check out the new Top of the Pops chart. Be up to the minute with Number One. And this week, get your free Danny and Marky Mark life-size posters. Number One, out now. I love this guy! You hear me? Meet Robin Williams. <laughs> We're in New York with my good main man, Terry. Terry Wogan. Yo, yo, come all the way here. Watch the Wogan show. If you can't watch it, tape it. If you can't tape it, ask a friend. He'll tell you what I did. Terrence, your turn. I'm really sorry, I can't. Robin Williams on Wogan. Tomorrow at 7 on 1. In half an hour, an old ice cream van comes in handy for Rene when he has to conceal those bungling British airmen in a lower low. First on BBC One, it's trick or treat for the residents of Albert Square in EastEnders. Saturday evening on One and Forsyth is gaming with the generations. It wouldn't have been nice if I'd listened to my doctor. You know, he begged and pleaded with me not to do the show tonight. I said, why not? He said, I don't like you. At 7.15, some fireworks, a septic tank and a lawnmower are all needed if Annika is to succeed with her challenge. And at five past eight, an unwelcome visitor is challenged. What are you doing here? Squatting. <laughs> well, you can squat off. This is my flag. <laughs> Business thrives, but a rift is developing between the Elliot sisters. How could you turn us into a theatrical costume, yes? It's all very well for you to be high principal. You let me worry about the business side of things. Don't treat me like a child. See me on Saturday night, Clive, with Clive James, and hear about the rugged life I'm leading in California. Saturday night on BBC One. A new series, The Victorian Flower Garden, is getting underway on BBC Two, in which Harry Dodson recreates the horticultural history of the age. In half an hour here on One, devious plans are laid to oust the troublesome Diana in Waiting for God. And uh, talking of devious plans, Rene has something up his sleeve in A Low A Low. Among the features in Top Gear on BBC Two now, a look at ways of making motoring safer for lone women drivers. Here on One, the residents of Bayview Retirement Home grow old disgracefully while waiting for guard. <laughs> 